the next time I go on this monorail, it'll be either for a Mickey's Not So Scared Halloween party, or I will have already gone to one. Good afternoon, everybody. We're here, we're ready to go. Ready to meet some characters. Meeting We're meeting Jill at Magic Kingdom. And we uh, heard that the Bucketless family is at the Magic Kingdom. So Sarah is cheesing out right now. Please stand clear of the door. I just saw this for this secret passageway for the first time the other day. There's stairs right here. Right next to the monorail. Did you know this was here? Look at they look new. Did you know? No, that's why I said 100. Was that the secret passageway you were telling me about? Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna sneak up and scare Jill. Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Oh, baby. She tricked us. She said she's behind the train station, but on the inside. Where is this girl hiding? Where did she go? Shouldn't she have sat upstairs though? She said inside. Will you call her? Where? Where? Oh, there she is! Hi, Jill. It's from the Disney store she in got New York City. Her Mickey My shirt. One and only souvenir her Mickey, in New York City. Her Mickey bag. Her Mickey notebook. I went all the way to New York City to buy this shirt. And her brand new Mickey ears. Because she's ready for fall. We're getting some of those brew. Only one. Only one, though. It was Jill's idea. Sarah said okay, so Peter says definitely. I always jump at the opportunity to do anything that we may or may not have had planned to do if Sarah says let's do it because there's a brief window sometimes where Sarah's like, I don't know if I want to, but should we? But it'd be fun, but should we do it another time? So if there's that moment where Sarah's thinking about it, Peter jumps in and is like, no, nope, let's do it. We gotta do it right now. We have to do it right now. So, we're getting a little food's brew. Strawberry, lemon, pistachio. And how much was this all together? Four bucks for the two, no discount. We got LeFou's brew and macaroons. Super good. Super like sometimes they're crunchy, but this one's perfect. Okay, I've done a lot of things in the Magic Kingdom, but I will say I have not done this amount of lounging. On to princesses number three and four, and I don't even know this one. Thank you. Everybody knows that princess over there, but I have yet to watch this princess's show or anything. She looks beautiful though. These two are becoming little cheese balls right now. <laughs> we haven't met Cinderella yet, and Jill hasn't met Cinderella in a long time. There she is. Come on over. The princess wants to meet you. Thank you. I'll take it. Thank you, princess. Have a good one. You too. Thank you. I made a, a devious discovery in the, in the shop after the princesses. I found this Magic Kingdom radio guide on the ground. And I have literally no point to keep it except for just to keep it forever. 
but it's got all of like the radio it's a cast members like cheat sheet it's got all the the channels and who to who they speak to for the radios the cast members have just don't tell them don't tell on me who could be around these these walls here hello hello Are you recording? i am hi i'm caleb i'm caleb from jacksonville Woo. Seven and a half years. Wow. It's really the best job. It is. You've worked here during all of our time here. Yeah. Well, how many years ago did you do? Oh, nine years ago. Okay, what did you do? I was here. We worked in Mason, Virginia. Okay. Yes, and splash photos when we still headed right down the Yes, I remember that. What about you? Oh, I was in the last, it's the most magical. I did quick service at Epcot. I did quick service here at Pinocchio's at that time. So, yeah. It's magical. Okay, electric umbrella. Yes, sir. Deep fryer, six months. Circus. Who's going to see it? Look at another lounger. People Just are tired. People are tired. <gasps> She's been working at SeaWorld too long. <laughs> are you ready to see things you ain't never seen before? Pete, this is a sick joke. No, are you ready to experience a tent full of fun? Well, then, ladies and gentlemen, Minnie and Minnie, Donald, Goofy, and Minnie are gone. It said 25 minutes. I'm out. I might just have to go wallow in the in the water hole over here. Let's go let's go to the shop because it's air conditioned and smells delicious. When I first got here I ran around and then I was like, let's just go in here. The funny thing is, Jill's not exaggerating, she probably did run around here. Okay, since Jill's here and we just had a little bit of a, a college program cast member chat, we're gonna do another bit of it. They do this only during busy times as a one-way exit for Main Street during holiday parties, busy nights. But look how beautiful it looks. When I worked parade control in 2012, none of these trees like this were here. It was all temporary. Not even this fence. Like some of these walls were here, but they had the, these like rolling bits of bushes that would. There used to be a parking lot back there, and you would cover it with these bushes so you didn't see it when you were here. But this is so beautiful. There's lights. They had even pumpkins. The Mickey pumpkins are back here. And then this pops up right next to Tony's. So if you ever like, if you ever hear, oh, wait, the statues are back here. What? The holiday statues are back here. So I wonder if they're gonna move them. Here's Goofy, Jester Goofy. I'm willing to bet. I wonder if they're going to stay here at the hub. Musketeer Pluto. Look at that, how cute. I think I missed one. I think I missed Minnie Mouse. We'll get him at a different time. Musketeer Donald. Oh my god, there's a video. And here we are, back on Main Street. Right next to Tony's. Wow, I don't think I've ever met Tink. Look at this little magical pixie dust. We're fairy size now. What? Wow. Look at this big spoon. This is super cool. So we've been quite busy. Whoa! What is that? Is that the end of Once Upon a Time? I didn't know it was that long. 
We've been quite busy. We lost track of having so much fun. But we... Uh, it closed the ton. I looked it up. Um, we went on a haunted mansion. And we met Tink. And I've realized I don't think I've ever met Tinkerbell before. Did you just love Character Palooza? I did love Character Palooza. And tomorrow is going to be a big entertainment Palooza. Because tomorrow is the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. Jill's, Jill's going to... Joe's gonna sneak in. Where am I sneaking in? To the Not So Scary Halloween party tomorrow. Oh yeah. Because it's not even September, but we're like doing it. ever Halloween party, we're there. Yes, and Halloween party, party is the best. Those are classics. Jill brought us to the Nikki's Not So Scary Halloween party, which is now my favorite party of all time. It's the best party. It is. This is the girl who got us through the college program. I was watching TV. I was watching TV in her basement, or like her family room, like what, nine years ago? No, seven, <laughs> seven, nine. So our moving date was six years ago, two years ago. So we did it th probably the year, so like six and a half or seven years ago, watching TV, she walks in visiting from Florida and just walks on stage and goes, so I realized you and Sarah have to do the Disney college program. Look into it, you're made for it. So. We're literally just about to walk into the Christmas room. Let's go in this door. <laughs> Before they, they close, close it. The doors. We're gonna try to get in. They close the doors, the other door on us but no one can stop us from enjoying Christmas. No big deal, Jill's just chasing bubbles. Popping them along the way. <laughs> We're doing my favorite form of transportation back to the, the car. Which we don't want to wait in line. It's a fun. We'd rather a peaceful transition it's, yes, out. It's a little, <laughs> it might be just as long or a little bit longer, but it's peaceful, it's calming, it's a great view, good time and a little bit of a walk through a beautiful resort. Which we love. Maybe we can get a magical moment and get some uh, bread pudding. Oh. <laughs> I don't know, is that bar open? What time is that bar closed? Nine, I think. Sarah, okay, if, Sarah, if we can find it, which is this one? Resort. Holly. 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 Yeah. If Sarah can find the video, she'll put it up over here of, of Dom saving the day with the bread pudding. I tell you, I was weary of these bigger boats once I brought them in because I love the wooden boats so much. But we just made it. We're like the last, okay. in the last yeah. six people getting on this it boat. It's been a while. We thought we'd give you a a ghoulish goodbye tonight on the outside and how it looks creepy. On our Halloween party Eve. But we're walking Eve. She was so sleepy when we got home, but I hope she stays like that. We literally tell people like what when we say her name, like like Christmas Eve. Yeah, like, if you, but around here it's easier like, because oh, Eve. it's for, she was named after Eve from Wally, but not everybody knows it. So we saw like, her name's Eve, like Christmas Eve. And then some people are like, or like Wally. And I'm like, you, you got it. But it helps when because Eve is kind of like a hard word to pronounce sometimes. People just think you're saying E. Yeah. But we're going to finish this walk and go to bed because I still have to go to work tomorrow. But we have the Halloween party tomorrow. And he's going to get up a little bit early. Yeah, hopefully. Fingers crossed. So. It's good to be home. It is good to be and home. Going to a Halloween party. And going to a Halloween party and Walking give us a thumbs dough. up and talk uh -oh. to us. We're like, oh no, we're tied. Go. Look at I'm pretty now. We're tied up. Oh no. Good night. Good night. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>